All right, it's a Saturday sometime middle of the day. I've been doing other stuff. You know, man can't only work on old cars. He has to do other stuff like house maintenance. Uh, I lost track of what I was saying. So, but I did manage to get the gauges done. They look pretty good, don't they? I think so. Not bad for a hack. So what I'm going to do now is, since I've got done with my other chores, my unexciting, go to the dump kind of chores, I'm going to clean off that workbench. I know you heard me say that before. But I'm going to do it so I can see what I'm up against. I'm pick up a few things and then I need to bring the fenders and the front grill out here to... Uh, Mock, help mock things up. I got to see where to put that fuse panel and where I want to put the holes for my bulkhead because it's time to start wiring up in here, you know. So let me get after it. Be cool if we could get her to set that low, huh? Yeah, that is not going to happen. Uh, one thing I noticed. There's some braze right here where some holes are braze shut. Epoxy primer don't stick to it. Yeah, see all them runs from when I put the POR 15 under it. Don't worry, we'll fix it. Now it's freezing cold out here. I'm going to prove it to you in a second. But the young man there swears his, he don't get cold. That's why he's wearing shorts. Lights don't get cold. What does it say to us there? 47 degrees. These are frigid temps, folks. All right, let me put that stuff together. All right, this is a little bit of a challenge. One, I can't remember exactly how it went together, so I'm having to figure that out. But we're getting there. But just now, I've got to go outside because the young man tells me it's snowing. It is snowing. Almost. It's imperceptible, almost. I don't even know if you can see it on the camera. Oh, there was a flake that just went by. We better go to the store. Get some bread and some milk. The other trouble we're having is that squirrel's up in my attic again. So, uh, I'm going to see what I can do about that. Alright, well, I wasn't successful with the squirrel. I stuck my head up in there with a light and a BB gun, but... Anyways, he disappeared on me. You know how they do. I need to get, uh... Get that squirrel and send it over to Whalen Wire. He likes squirrels. Yeah, or you could skin it and have squirrel soup. But I think I'll pass on the squirrel soup. I've hate squirrel and I didn't like it. All right, you can see some fabrication work I did before. I made those brackets right there. Those ones. To hold the front clip up. And you can see it more better over there. I had to do some trimming and I got some more to do yet because I changed those lines from the way it was before and my inner fender didn't fit no more but we'll have to we'll have to fix all that but it's, it can be done she's a tight squeeze ain't it yes sir I do have a custom radiator made that fits right in there I've had it in the lower radiator hose works. I think if I remember right, I've got to shorten this or something. But anyways, these are the things we've got to figure out. All right, I'm going to get this fender on so I can start figuring out where all this wiring is going to go. I don't know why I get turn them off so many times. Here's another thing I'm kind of proud of. That's the uh, radiator tank. 
you know these things you can't use a radiator cap on them if it's in there like so I did all this stuff a pretty good while ago you can see I put the hole in the wrong place right there tight fit ain't it a tight fit anyways I can need to quit standing here looking at it and, and gabbing periodically I need to get to work all right there it is with the front end back on it or at least some of it do you have to slurp it like that yes I do actually okay so there's a running board on it uh, it reminds me these wheels aren't offset very well. The wheel, the tires kind of stick out from the fender. See there? I think vans are offset in further. I need to find some wheels like that. Because they kind of stick out and it's ugly. I suppose I could cut and modify the fenders, but I don't know as I'm down for all that. Could be done though. Could be done. All right, but right now I need to figure out some wiring where I'm going to mount everything. There's precious little space here, so let me get to crack a lacking, as Shevaholic would say. I'm going to put some of this other stuff away, the radiator brackets and all that, because I don't need the radiator right now. I will when I get to wiring it, but right now I'm trying to get the engine harness into the cap. So let me work on that. Oh, and some of you may remember me lamenting that I couldn't find the things to hold my dash panel in and the little thing to work the windshield wiper and... The starter button and all that but yesterday I was doing some cleaning and I said why am I keeping this box and I picked it up to throw it in the trash and I said what was in it look there the original starter button uh, the original one of those whatever it is there's the little brackets that hold the gauge panel in place there's the little ding danger that turns the wipers on what I don't see is the little rod there's supposed to be a rod between that and the wiper motor. look it's even got the nuts and all in it I think those are the trim screws Right? Alright. He doesn't even know what I said. Oh, and then some of you were saying vacuum wipers weren't going to do right. Well, there's our vacuum pump. So I think as long as that engine's running, they'll do right. And this truck only has 20 something thousand, 26,000, if I remember right, miles on it. So I doubt the wiper motor is wore out. It might be, but doubt it. So I'm going to quit chit chatting. And uh, get to work. Don't you think that'd be a good idea? It's too early to ring the bell, anyways, right? Yeah. It really is. Okay, let's go. That stupid squirrel. Ceiling poke full of holes if I keep that up. Alright, I know it don't look like it, but I'm making sense of these wires again. I've got the PCM connected, the engine harness connected back. 
The IDM is down there. I gotta figure out how I'm gonna mount that. I gotta give that some thought. But <clears throat> there's the fuse box, I think. I really think I threw the bracket away for it today. But I think I'm gonna put that about like so. And I've got to sort out, this is my gas pedal harness. I've got to make sure I can hook wires back where they go, so I'm going to work on that. I can't stay after it too much longer. But This is my alternator harness. That's the map sensor, which will mount somewhere like that. Starter solenoid, I think it'll go somewhere like so. And once we get all that ironed out, I've got some bulkheads I need to install. I think it's going to take two. Probably put them something like that. But I'm going to keep sorting here for a little bit. I ain't getting a darn thing done. I'm just messing around. Kind of a bug-eyed rascal, ain't it? I don't think I can do the light on top of the fender. I think I'm going to convert this light to a turn signal. Originally it was running light only, I think. I can't do that big ugly light up there on top of the fender. I don't think I can. I did have the bumper on it too. It should bolt right on. I did a bunch of fabricating on this thing. Trying to make everything fit right. But I can see I'm going to have to do a bunch more. Mostly associated with the wiring. But I need to quit sitting here looking at it. And do something for real. All right, here's what I done did. I put in a bulkhead. Pretty sweet, huh? This way, when I get ready to take the cab off, I'll be able to just unplug the harness from the cab and get it out of there. Now, I think I'm going to have to use two of these between the engine and the lights and horn and all that stuff. I'm going to put the other one right there I think but all you need for that is a two inch hole saw and a quarter inch drill bit nothing to it and it's got a little bolt in the center that pulls it tight similar to factory stuff uh oh there we go and it seals off waterproof Good connection. I think that's a no-brainer. Forgot how much those were—40 or 50 bucks a piece or something like that. But I think it's worth every penny. If you run the wires through the cab, you need to take the cab off. You either got to pull all the wires or cut them and splice them. So I think that's better. But that's all I can do tonight. By the way, look at the speakers I scavenged out of that Cadillac. She's at the scrap yard now, but. Didn't get much for it at the scrapyard, but well, you can't have everything. All right, that's all I'm gonna do tonight. I gotta go in and put a ceiling fan in the living room and probably some other stuff. So, you know, it's not always Mr. Heavy Chevy, sometimes it's Susie Homemaker. Well, that didn't sound right, anyways. Don't forget to go to mrheavychevy.com where you can buy stickers. I think Mrs. Heavy Chevy sold her Valentine's Day thing. Uh, you can get a sweatshirt, be just like Whale and Wire, and DD Speed Shop. They have them. I ain't seen them wear them, but then again, they ain't seen me wear the T-shirt they sent me. Um, thank you to all my critics. Uh, sorry, I can't comply with all your wishes, and that's just the way it is. So. Like it or lump it, I say.
Here's the bell. See you on the next one. Who knows what the next one might be. I might put a cam in a 454. I might work on this truck. I might buff that car. I might ride that Harley. I might go for riding my cop car. You just never know. I'm sure this screwdriver, this 4-in-1 screwdriver, will be crucial to some, my success in the ceiling fan installation.